Hello everyone, this is Gospel EXE and welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star Online. So today I'm going to be showing you a very useful tool here. Um, it's called the PSO Character Manager, as I have mentioned before. And um, it pretty much keeps track of your character and how to manage it. So of course you have your 12 classes here, and since we are using the Humar, we'll start with that. And um, yes, you can select your name and it tells you what kind of ID you can get. Um, as you can see, there's a group A, and there's also a group B for section IDs. I didn't mention that before, but um, you can see, I believe, yes, the even numbers are group A, and the odd numbers are group B. These can uh, determine how often you find certain materials. Okay, and we can uh, go through here. Uh, it shows your current and step statistics here. These include your materials and mags fed. Since we automatically start with the mag, which I'll show you in just a moment, um, you get the five initial defense. So lucky you. Okay, next uh, you want to set your target to um, have your statistics as high as possible, preferably to the max. Now your character has a maximum amount of points to every stat it doesn't go infinitely so you have to plan wisely because too many mats and too much power in a mag can result in a waste of materials and whatnot okay so first thing I like to do is start with the mag um, you want to get as high dexterity as possible uh, so you can max your ATA that's your attack accuracy so in this case a humor does need um, 52 points into your mag Okay, because if you do 50, you only get 199 out of 200. Even 51 won't do good. Now you notice that you get 0.5 ATA per level on your mag for the dexterity. So 52 is a must. There are no hit materials in um, the GameCube version, unlike the Dreamcast. Uh, those were the good old days. And your maximum mag level is 200. So, immediately you want to think 200 minus 57, that's 143. Oops, not 2. 143. So immediately, at level 200, you have over, well over 1,000 ATP. Now I want to go over the stats here. Um, for defense, it's really not that much. It's only one defense per uh, level in defense for your mag. However, for your m power and mind, you get two points into that statistic for each level inside your mag. So, in this case, we have 143 points into power, so in total you get 286 ATP, which is a grand boost. And um, as I mentioned before, you only get half a point for attack accuracy for every dex point. So, in this case, we're getting 26 additional attack accuracy, which, believe me, is a lot in this game. Now moving on to your character manager, I um, another thing I want to move on to is luck. This determines your critical rate. Uh, whoops. And yes, max luck for every character, no matter what, is 100. Now uh, pe a lot of people might assume that luck affects your magic drops or your rare drops. No, it does not. It just affects your critical hits and it reduces the chance that you obtain critical hits from enemies. Okay, and um, of course attack power since you're focusing on melee and um, you'll be needing a lot of attack. Okay, so add in materials until you max out. There you go. And uh, next thing I like to do is just be a little tank. So we'll add in some defense materials until we max out. Evasion materials are great as well. Now, why did I not add too many points into mind? Well, I mean, you're a hunter, you're not a force, so you're not focusing too much into magic uh, casting. I mean, the only useful magics that you'll ever be using is Jelen, Zeller, Resta, Anti, um, just mainly the supportive and uh, restorative techniques. There's nothing too special. I mean, sure, if you want to leech off of experience, then you may use Rayfoy or something. 
But, um, you're not really missing too much into mind. We'll go to the next screen here. This is the show maximum statistics. Um, so you're missing about 122, I mind. And even that won't do too much, because, unlike, uh, forces, uh, you don't get any buffs or anything, you don't get any boosts. Okay, and preview for a level, you can do that. Now, the reason why I really like this uh, program is because as you obtain materials, you can add on. So, let's say I find five power materials, then there you go, you can add that in. And this also keeps track of your materials. Now, you may have noticed that, oops, you get uh, two different types here. You get 125 HP materials to use, but 250 statistic materials that you can use as well. And these are divided up right here. These add up to one, 250. You can do the math if you want. And, um, yep, that's pretty much it. And it's really unfortunate for androids because they only get, I believe, 150 materials. It's either that or 125. I can show you. Um, I don't want to say because I already have a plan set up. Uh, let's do that. Okay, so yes, they get 150. But they do get traps, and you're excluding the mine materials that you can use. It says, um, oh, that's a great combination. Uh, Pinkle Hue Gast. Seeing they can't use techniques. Yes. So, so I would recommend downloading this program. It's really great. I think you'll find a great amount of use for this. And that's all I can say. Uh, you can find this uh, utility at www.pso-world.com. Now, do not forget the dash. Otherwise, who knows what website you'll end up at. And um, I believe you can find this in the download section and it's in under utilities and programs. It's really easy to find. It's really small too. I think it's like 100 kilobytes. It's really small. You can fit it easily in your hard drive. If you can't then I really don't know what to say. So yes, uh, this is our character manager. My character plan. Alright, and um... Yeah, so this is just a bonus episode to explain this program. Oh yes, I want to add one more thing. Let's start right here again. Now you may notice... Okay, so we get Redria. Okay, Redria. It's always Redria for GameCube. And this also works great for Dreamcast. Except for Dreamcast, you don't even have to worry about materials because you can use as many materials as you want. Except I believe there is an HP limit. Anyways, um, the reason why I want to point out the section ID part is because if you are playing Fantasy Star Online Blue Burst, then not only does your name vary, but your class also varies on what section ID you get. So, what you want to do is go to pslworld.com again, and they should have a section for your section ID. From there, you can type in the name, but also, don't forget to select your class, um, so you might want to plan that out ahead of time. So yes, your class matters, your name matters, uh, for your section ID. Okay, and we'll be moving on to the next episode of Let's Play Fantasy Star Online. This is Gospel EXE, signing out. Have a good day!